and welcome to part 8 where we'll be covering how to add additional maps into our shaders. And once again, don't worry if you find the presentation a little hard to follow, it is just to get an idea of how things work. After the theory, we will go ahead and write a shader line by line explaining how it works in greater depth. You can then come back and watch the theory again for greater understanding, or you can download the presentation, the shader, and a written version of this tutorial in the source files. So, adding textures. We have a nice normal map shader, but what about more textures? We can use as many textures as we need to in a shader. So let's look at two more common texture maps. We'll be looking at the specularity map, which will cut away at our specular highlights, and the emission map to add lighting to our model. So there really isn't much more to this than one simple line, and that is the light final. You add in the specular reflection multiplied by the texture alpha, because we store that in the gloss channel, and the emission map, we add in the emission times the emission strength value. So let's get started. Let's do a quick breakdown. Specular map controls how much specular is added to the model. So we multiply the specular reflection by the specular map. The specular map is just a black and white texture. So we actually store this in the alpha channel of the texture map. So it uses up less memory. Finally, we multiply the emission map by a strength glider and add it to the rest of the lighting. I did say this was going to be easy. So let's go ahead. We're not going to write this from scratch again. We're going to take our normal map shader and we're going to append to this some more maps. So we'll be re-explaining all of the theory lesson again as I write the shader. 